An action group opposed to plans to house asylum seekers in a former four-star hotel in Carmarthenshire say their battle isn't over. It's after a temporary High Court injunction was granted, limiting the activities of groups objecting to the plans who gathered outside the Stradley Park Hotel in Llanelli. Members of the Furness Action Committee have urged calm at the site, as Matt Murray now reports. Around 25 protesters are still outside the Stradley Park Hotel after the High Court injunction was granted. Several action groups are opposed to the plans for the venue to host up to 241 asylum seekers. The owners of the hotel asked a judge in London to impose an urgent interim injunction in a bid to prevent trespass and obstruction at the property. Protesters have been here since June, blocking the entrance and putting up this barrier. Many here are clearly disappointed with the judge's ruling, but are still defiant. Robert Lloyd is from the Furness Action Committee, one of the groups who gave evidence at the High Court. He explained to me what this injunction will mean. So, Rob, where does the 12-foot start and end then here? Yeah, essentially it's from that wall, okay. again from the side of the garage, and then it'll come basically to here, mm -hmm. and then it'll drive up to the, to the main road. The judge was quite specific yesterday. There's no, the access route will be opened, but if you choose to block the access, then you run the risk of uh, criminal proceedings and so on. So for you to stand here at the moment, I, is this trespass? If, if I refuse the reasonable request to move, then I'd be guilty uh, of obstruction, obstruction of that access. Mm. The, the battle isn't over as far as... still defiant? We're still defiant, yes. The Home Office say they will continue to work closely with local partners on a careful and considered plan to move asylum seekers to the hotel in a phased approach over the coming weeks. In the nearest park, there was mixed feelings to the plans. I think it's disgusting. We haven't got the facilities now for the people who already live here. You can't get doctor's appointments. There's no dentist taking on NHS. Well, I feel sorry for um, the immigrants. They've got to have somewhere to go. And uh, really, if it's a hotel and it's for however long, I'm fine with that. It's been brushed upon us. We haven't had time to consider it. Um, it seems an awful lot of people for just one town. The Furnace Action Committee say the battle goes on and have called for calm and say they're just trying to protect a hotel which was the jewel in the crown of Carmarthenshire.